What's up, man? How are you? Ill mind. Hey, Ken. Yeah, you pleasure, so? pleasure. Yeah. yeah, I'm part of Ryan's team. Yeah, so. cool, cool. I was figuring out what it was. Uh, oh, dope. This is it. Yeah, yeah. Um, this he's thing. not here yet, right? No. Not, okay, yeah. cool. Ryan time. You know how. Yeah, of course. Yeah, um, yeah. So we we say the event starts at seven, but we like get kicked off at seven thirty. Yeah, 7:30. of course. If you tell people New York seven, they show up to nine. You know. Exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, how many of the, these have you done? About right two months in. Yeah, okay. So we uh, so I so I interned for Ryan back in 2014 when it was DMM. So okay. I'm like the only guy on the team that still has a DMM email. Oh, oh cool. Funny. Yeah, I, I call it like, you know, the throwback jersey, you feel me? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so I interned for Ryan in 2014, but I rejoined the team this past May. Um, I was in like the touring side of music, and when I got here in May, Ryan was like, yo, he's like, there's a lot of people in New York City that like know about Superphone, but they don't really have like a clear image of like what it is. Right. And so we started hosting these socials to like, you know, answer some of those questions, quell a couple of those myths, and like, we've also been using it as a way to get feedback. So Nick from our product team is out there, um, a lot of other people from the Superfund team are all here. Cool. And so it ends up being like a pretty like communal vibe of people right. being like, yo, this works, this doesn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. Cool. For cool. sure. Yeah, it's cool. When I go through our like waiting list to see like, like if anybody wants to get on, we ask like how they heard about Superfund and how they use it. Like, especially in the past month, I've had a lot of people from the black chat. They've been like, yo, I was watching yeah. the black chat. Yeah, because like, we had, uh, we had Danny and Nathan come through. Okay, word. And we did an episode with them. Got you. And yeah. obviously they plugged it. Okay, so yeah. you know, did you know, did you know Nathan before? Like, uh, was um, Ryan? no. Yeah, I met that way. I met Nathan through Ryan. Gotcha. Yep, I met cool. Nathan through yeah. Ryan, yeah. and then um, Danny, Danny, Danny too. Yeah. Danny too. Now I heard Danny's still doing. You're still working. Yeah. With Danny. Danny's still working with you. Yeah, so. we're doing Beat Thread. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Check yeah. it out. It's yeah. it's really cool, man. And Danny's my dude, bro. He's such a good dude. He hustles, man. He He's a hustler. It, you know what I mean? He's a hustler. He's on it like 24 seven. But you know, it's it's tech. It's yeah, it's tough. Exactly. But I Name think the game is staying ahead of the curve. Exactly. Yeah. And like I just think the formula we have right now is like working. Good. Obviously yeah. it's just always gonna keep growing and getting better. Yeah. Um, but that's just the nature of the beast. Yeah. It it's is. exciting. Yeah, it's fun. I love it. It is cool. And so dude, thank you guys won't be here probably until like seven twenty seven. Alright, I'll come back. Unless we'll get kicked off. Yeah. So All right. Good, man. All right, Kent. So I'm at this super phone event. Ryan Leslie put this together, uh, this app. As you guys know, you know, you've seen me talk about this a few times. Cause I, you know, I've known Ryan for a while and I was kind of like one of the first people to use super phone technology. So I really want to get a sense of like what the tempo of super phone is now um, compared to back then. And also just like, express like my business model and why I use it. It's, it's just so interesting because the technology is so powerful. You, you know, you can insert it into really any, any business, you know, whether you're a musician, a producer, and rapper, a, you know, business owner, whatever it is. I think, I think the technology is really cool. So I mean, Ryan just always has fucking crazy ideas. You know, when we were in uh, Germany, 2013, we're in Germany working on his album and the guy just doesn't sleep. Like, he sleeps like two, three hours a night. He'll be the first one at the studio and the last one out. He's like cutting vocals and then like I'm producing in one room and then he's like editing a video in another room and then like programming, you know, a fucking website in another room. Like, he's just a beast, man. Like, he's just super on it. IG Live, what's up? Zaylight, what's up? Yeah, man, beats are lottery tickets. You know, like every every new beat you make is lottery tickets, straight up. It's an opportunity to make money. Your odds of winning increase based on the more material you have as a producer, you know what I'm saying? So it's true. Uh, when am I coming to Austin? I I'm planning a trip out there, man. Like, you guys have seen my, my posts. I'm trying to do this uh, past the aux event like I'm trying to take it to every major city so um, you know we're announcing actually tomorrow or Friday definitely before the end of this week I'm announcing more cities um, I'll just tell you guys right now I'm coming to Toronto 
I'm coming to Baltimore and I'm coming to Philly. Uh, so Philly, Baltimore, Toronto, past the Ox. I'm coming in in October. Um, get ready. You know, the more successful you become, the more open-minded you should be, the more people you know, the more resources you have, the more opportunities you have. And so it's really a matter of taking advantage of all of those opportunities and um, just building your network. Like every year, the reason why I'm out doing myself every year with more placements and more opportunities and blah, 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 is because like my, my work ethic is kind of like increasing every year and every, every new milestone that I reach, every success that I have increases my chances of having more success. So it's just like a snowball effect of success that happens. As long as I stay hungry and as long as I'm still working and I don't get lazy or I don't, you know, like become, like no longer become interested in like producing music or success, then like the momentum stops. But like, I'm fucking hungry, man. I'm just as hungry as you guys, maybe even hungrier. You know what I mean? I'm, I, I, I take every day like it's day one. Like I treat every, every day like I have no placements. I treat every day like I have no followers on Instagram. Like I'm building from scratch, you know what I'm saying? So like the, the, the hunger in me is what keeps me going. And some people can't keep up. Some people bow out early. Some people have their own, you know, situations, which is fine. Um, and their own shit that they have to deal with. I have shit I have to deal with too, but I've made it a point to make sure that nothing stops me from uh, doing what I have to do and attaining success. And um, no one out there can stop me. The only person that can stop me is me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just getting started, guys. You know, I, some of you guys call me OG, and I appreciate that. But I ain't no OG, man. I don't feel like one. I'm just getting, I'm just getting warmed up. I'm literally getting warmed up, guys. Like, there's levels to this shit. You know, like, whatever success I've attained now is cool, but, like, it's not enough. For me, it'll never be enough. Like, I'm just a fucking hard worker, and, uh... I love the art of music production and uh, I get a high from it and, and I love giving back and that's why I do a lot of that because it's just part of my, it's integrated into my lifestyle. And I just want to be around like-minded people and that's what keeps me going. Alright guys, I'll holla at you later, I'm going to go ho holla at Ryan Leslie, Superphone event. I'll talk to y'all soon, peace. How many of you feel like you have obstacles or challenges that you need to overcome to actually achieve the dream or the vision that you have for your life? Obstacles, challenges, obstacles. The real thesis behind Superphone is that success happens at the speed of communication. I want you to just think about that. Success happens at the speed of communication. And we have micro success every day. Oh, okay. so, What's up, man? How are you? I think we met briefly at like one of these events. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm How you doing? I'm William Bolton. I play drums for him. But... Okay, cool. How's he doing? He's doing well. Good. Uh, so I'm actually taking the next year off. So going back to finish my last year of school. Nice. So, uh, I've been taking production like more seriously. Cool. What are you using? I'm Ableton. I just got FL for drums. Cheat code. Yeah, I, I heard that in the black chat. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I actually like no Atlas, and we were in a session with Zeus at uh, Rosa at the spot. Oh, okay. Yeah. I must have missed you that day. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you were there. Yeah. Uh, I, I think Zeus likes to call it the lowercase a studio. Yep. Yeah, the lowercase a. We don't call it the B studio. Still working, man. You know, just like everyone else. Big fan of your work, man. Appreciate it, man. I Appreciate it. Serious. Yeah. I'll definitely hit you. Thank you, man. Appreciate the love. Um, let me just say peace to Rye. Yo. I gotta get out of here. I didn't, you know, I gotta oh, say peace. Man.
believe man. Man, you should have said something. Yeah, 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 nah. like, Yo, what's up? What's it's up? It's all good. I didn't... Like, that's the actual breakout session that wants to, that wants to hear you. So those are non superphone users? Yeah, those, those are the artist producer verticals. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. But you got a jet, right? Yeah, I got a jet. So I, we do this every Wednesday. Every So every week? Yeah, we do it every Wednesday. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so pick a Wednesday. Same time? Yeah, and we'll do a breakout okay. for the producers, artists, whatever. Okay. You know what I mean? So we're yeah, going to check your it. account first. We make sure it's nice. Whatever. <laughs> man, always inspiring, man. Always, yeah. You know, I'm just trying some shit. I'm just trying some shit. Absolutely, Some different shit. All right. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. Come to my birthday party next week if you're around. Wednesday, same day. We'll pull up afterwards. Oh, how late is it? Yeah. Midnight, one, whatever. Okay, I'll pull up after. Next week. Next week, Wednesday. Salute. You too. Y'all already know. You already know. You already know. There you are. Jacob. What's up, Jacob? What's up, man? How are you? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to Yo. meet you. It's my man, Josh. How do you do? Cool. I'm gonna slip over here. So cool. We're only we're one wall away from the oh, wow. museum. Oh wow. Museum. Oh part of okay. The museum, so there's something uh, going on over there. So is this um, is this your home base? This is this is part of our home base. We cool. are home based in Nashville. Oh sweet. Um, we have a couple of people in, in LA and. As you can see, this is all under construction, but I'll cool. make all this make sense. Yeah, I it's it's pretty awesome to be in touch with you. Yeah, for sure, man. And get a chance to just kind of share a little bit of our story and what we've been hey. working on. So this, this is it. Yeah, this has been, I will say, a labor of love. We wanted to create a create a toolkit for people so they can plug into this wherever they are in their in their music. Yeah, so right now it's acting like it's acting like a guitar. A guitar. So, so you can think of those as strings that you would strum uh, rather than a button that you push the way you like pluck a string. Mm -hmm. So this sen uh, sends mini? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, walk me through this thing because yeah. it's it's looking and feeling really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, well because it's MIDI, so it's running through GarageBand, but okay. you can get into anything you like. We also make uh, an app for iOS that's super plug and play. Mm -hmm. So mini USB to Lightning, and it goes straight into your iPad, and your iPhone. And we have an app, and our our mobile app has Sweet. sounds built in. On the desktop, we didn't build the sounds in; we just built this. Okay. So here's a place to configure your features, your tunings, and your techniques. So do you want it to be fretted or fretless? Do you want it to act like a grid? Do you want to break these up into uh. pads? Then once you've configured it the way you want, you run it into your DAW of choice. And GarageBand, you know, in a lot of ways we built this with a lot of inspiration from GarageBand, mm -hmm. something that is a sweet spot between really powerful and flexible mm -hmm. uh, and intuitive simple to use, practical, right. and that can graduate you from, you know, level one to level ten. You know, four basic paradigms, guitar, violin, piano, drums, those are your basic building blocks. Okay. You can combine, combine them in infinite permutations, but... So right now, guitar mode, yeah, regular... So guitar, it's tuned like a guitar. It is, uh, the bridge is acting mm -hmm. like strings that you would pluck strum. Um, obviously, velocity, pressure sensitivity. Yep. Uh, I'll show you some of the, the procedure. Velocity uh -huh. here, you get pressure here, so you get another. Oh, cool, so you can you feel. Z axis. That's cool. Um, but things like hammer ons and pull offs that you would expect from a string instrument, a guitar, or a bass, ukulele. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm running it through a Fender Rhodes kind of sound, but so that sound is coming out of the DAW. It's come well. The the sample the patch is in here, but it's actually routing the oh, audio. Oh, the audio back. routing so back. We have speaker Got here, it. Speaker here. Um, of course, you could you could route that audio out to anything. You Got want, it. Run it straight into your Got it. Soundboard, your camera, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, this is a capo, so ah. transpose. Nice. And that can be either half steps or if you want it to be octaves. Oh, sweet. Nice. It's 
got a stereo headphone out, which okay. is also a stereo mic in. So if you're feeling extra crazy, you can vocode and things like that. Interesting. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Keyboard mode. Fire. Yeah, the vocoder option is pretty crazy. I would, like, the way I would use this would, I would just route the MIDI out into my MIDI keyboard and then just trigger Pro Tools through that. Um, but I'm sure there's, like, a, another way to do it as well. Two days in a row. How you doing, man? What's up, dude? Oh my, pleasure. Pacifico, the beer of all beers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers to creativity and fucking mad science and Pacifico beer. Mm. But it's called Smart Strong. becomes a chord and it's all that's what I was gonna ask you that's what I was gonna ask you about the one fret is the one chord one four five and the eighth the octave and then you can switch the key um yeah so that okay so that's on E major right now okay and how did you activate that it's just one of the presets smart strum in the library here oh I see yeah and you can throw it into Okay, so under tuning is where you choose the actual style. Yeah. That's my shit right there. It's Cause like I suck, I, I really suck at like naturally finding guitar chords. I'm just like really terrible, so I'm fucking lazy. Well, there's a million guitar chords that I just don't know and will never know. And this is just an amazing way to so You realize that you've just changed my life, right? Okay. Like, I don't as think, I don't think you, day, I'm happy. I don't think you, you realize what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't mind having access to this. <laughs> this is fucked up, man. <laughs> fucked up. You know, there's so many young producers coming up who all the software is basically free, mm -hmm. right? Whether you whether it's a, whether it's free or you got your hands on it for free. But working on the mouse, working on the QWERTY keyboard, and working yep. on the touchscreen it has its limitations. Yep. And we wanted to give it a, a body. Like, this is the most amazing brain and nervous system. We're trying to give it different kinds of bodies. Yeah. So, we could have gone, I think we could have, you know, gone way more high end in certain ways, but accessibility and trying to democratize those tools mm -hmm. is a big part of the philosophy behind this. I think you guys hit it on the nose because, okay. like, you know, when you see, again, like, Roly and like what they're doing and it's like amazing what they're doing. I think I think the next step of music creation is the actual method of how we're accessing notes. You know, I mean like when you think about how how long a piano has been around for, you know, what like when was a piano invented? Like hundreds like hundreds right or thousands of years hundreds of years was first harps and harps chord was first harps right and then organs right think, and then the piano and then like yeah. a guitar came through and then you have these string instruments but it's like you know it's 2017 like this is the brain so how can we yeah. stay um progressive with like how we're expressing our music i use my ipad yeah a lot yeah i have i'm like an ipad app whore okay so i have literally every single um like midi trigger app in in the ipad but you know i'm still like pressing a, a screen so it's not fully right. expressive um and like a lot of it's great but like you know it's like hitting the table so this is a fucking godsend <laughs> so congratulations Appreciate you so, so good. much, man. Uh, we'll Thanks. keep in touch. Feel me on the chords, though. Like, cause you know, e e even even if you play keys, 
it, you can't naturally access certain chords and certain keys like because your brain doesn't and you don't have the, the voicing down you don't have all that like, special sauce that like real players have. no so it's like because you're working at a certain level everything needs to be working at that level as well. right all right bro good to see you yeah hit me man all right man pleasure to meet you dude i'll see you for sure yes sir uh-huh i'm blown away art of fun this thing's game changing shout to you guys um You'll definitely be seeing me using this thing more often. And I'm getting a custom piece. Fuck that. <laughs>